people compliment ethnic writers by saying or implying that they are as good as mainstream writers. And whereas I understood the compliment, I thought it would be better for me, at least in the late 60s and early 70s, to establish once and for all that all three of those things play. I'm black, I am a woman, and I'm a writer, and they go together. Toni Morrison, the literary giant and trailblazing author, died at the age of 88. She was the first African-American woman to win the Nobel Prize for Literature, and that's just one of her barrier-breaking firsts. Born Chloe Ardella Woford, Morrison grew up in Lorain, Ohio, and was the second of four kids. The daughter of Southern transplants, Morrison's grandfather was born into slavery. She was an avid reader during her formative years, with her tastes spanning from Tolstoy to Jane Austen. Her academic life began at Howard University, where she studied humanities and continued on with a master's from Cornell. Morrison would remain a fixture in academia, most recently serving as the chair of humanities at Princeton from 1989 to 2006. She made her literary debut in 1970 with The Bluest Eye and continued to explore race and identity throughout her work. And I had a major, major question in my mind at that time, which was how does a child learn self loathing uh, for racial purposes. Where does it come from? Who enables it? How is it infectious? And then what might be the consequences? Beloved, her enduring novel inspired by a real runaway slave, won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1988 and was later translated to the screen by Oprah Winfrey. In 1993, she was honored with the Nobel Prize in Literature. The committee described her novels as having visionary force and giving life to an essential aspect of American reality. In 2012, she was awarded the highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom by then-President Barack Obama.